Today we're going to be restoring and repainting these old Honda wheels. Now this wheel's pretty beat up. You can see there's a lot of chipping and curb rash and brake dust. So we're going to give this wheel a two-tone paint job to give the car a whole new look. We've got the car on jack stands. This is the wheel off the car. First thing I'm going to do is just dust off some of the brake dust from the rim. All right, next I'm going to use a little bit of 100 grit sandpaper and sand down the rim. You want to make sure you get inside all of these crevices and corners here as much as you can so that the paint has the best possibility to stick. Now this part's optional. You can also sand the inside and paint the inside of the wheel. You can also opt to take off the balancing weights from the wheel on the inside, but then you'll have to take it to a shop to get rebalanced when you repaint it. Alright, I've got the rims all sanded down with the 100 grit sandpaper. Next I'm going to be using a little bit of rim cleaner to clean the inside and outside of the wheels. Make sure you use rubber gloves because it's very corrosive. First I'm going to start by wrenching off the wheel with a garden hose just to get all the dust off of there. Then I'm going to come in with my rim cleaner and spray it all over the rim. Then I'll take a brush and I'll lightly brush all of the contaminants off the rim. And then I'm going to thoroughly rinse the wheel off with a lot of water. You want to do this fairly quickly because the cleaner is corrosive and it could burn through the finish of the aluminum wheel. I'm also going to repeat and clean the inside of the wheel as well. And then once you're finished rinsing, we're going to use a clean cloth and dry the wheels. Now with the wheel clean, I can see that this Honda wheel was made in Thailand. Alright, so now that the wheel is dry, I'm going to use a little bit of paint thinner here and wipe down all the surfaces of the wheel to remove any remnants or contaminants of grease or dirt. Again, you want to make sure you use gloves to protect your hands from the paint thinner. You're also going to want to use the paint thinner and wipe down around the surface of the wheel so that the tape sticks better when you mask it off. Make sure you also clean the inside of the wheel if you're going to be painting that as well. Next, I need to mask the tire off from overspray, so to do that, I'm just going to use a little bit of masking tape, put it into the rim, and tape it on, and work my way around the rim. So to mask off the tire, I'm just going to use a little bit of newspaper, and put some masking tape down on the edges. Now that the wheel's all masked off, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of primer. You just want to give it a couple of light coats of primer. Okay, now that the first layer is just about dry, I'm going to apply a second layer. Again, a very light layer. Now back over on the front of the wheels, I'm going to give that a coat of primer. With the first layer of primer dry, I'm going to go ahead and coat it with the second layer. With both layers of the primer dry, I'm going to use a little bit of 320 grit sandpaper and go over any rough areas. Once I'm happy with my primer layer, I'm then going to apply the color layer. Now in this case I want to do a two-tone effect where the inside of the wheel is black and the top face of it is silver. So optionally what you could do is mask off this top area here to prevent the black from leaking over. Or you can just spray it black and then mask it later when you're doing the silver. So I'm just going to go ahead with some black enamel paint here which is great for metal. And spray the inside of the wheels only. You want to make sure you go really light with the coats of black because you don't want it to run. It's a very thin paint and it's easy to run. That's the first layer, I'm just going to let that dry for 10 minutes. Now that the first coat is dry, I'm going to give it a nice moderate final coat. Now I'm also going to paint the inside of my wheels black, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Once all the black paint has been sprayed, we're going to leave it for about an hour for the paint to cure before we mask on it. While the wheels are off, this is an excellent time to spray paint the calipers so that it contrasts what the wheel has. So now that all the black paint on the rim has been dried, I'm going to need to spray the silver next, so I'll need to mask off everything that is black. Starting with the inside of the wheel here, I'm just going to use a little bit of newspaper and masking tape and go around and mask off the inside of the wheel. So here I've got the back all masked off. I'm going to flip it over and mask off the insides here where I don't want to be painted. I'm going to mask off this area on the inside here. Now one of the tricks to getting a nice clean line when you put the silver here is so that you leave this up right here so that it forms an edge. And then when you peel off the tape, this is left black and it leaves a nice clean line for the silver. Over here I'm going to put a piece of tape from one end to the other. Here we go. And make sure I keep this edge above. So now that I've got the wheel all masked off, I'm going to hit this black area here with a little bit of primer so that the black doesn't bleed through the silver that I put down. Now that the layer of primer has had a chance to dry, I'm going to hit it with a little bit of Duplicolor silver wheel paint.
Next I'm going to apply a second layer, this time a little bit more heavier. To finish applying the final layer of silver paint, we're going to let that set down for about half an hour to an hour before we peel off the tape, revealing what's underneath. Alright, now comes my favorite step, pulling off all the masking tape to see what's underneath. I'm going to slowly pull it back, making sure that the paint doesn't pull up with it. Now this step is optional. As you can see in some areas there's a little bit of a sharp gradient between the silver and the black paint. So what I'm going to do is use a little bit of 600 grit sandpaper and sand it with wet soapy water very lightly to remove that line. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of Duplicolor clear coat onto the wheels. I'm going to first apply a very thin layer. So if you're going to use some of this Duplicolor clear coat and it's raining outside you're going to notice that the color comes out a little bit milky. That's because of the humidity in the air. Here we can see the first layer is almost dry. Next I'm going to spray it with a second layer of clear coat. This will be the final layer. You want to make sure that there's no runs. But at the same time you want to apply an even coat so that it protects the wheel evenly. So I've allowed the clear coat to dry overnight. Now it's nice and hard. Next I'm going to remove all the masking tape from around the tire. Alright, well check it out. The rims came out really nice looking and the nice contrasting black on silver finish. The silver paint has a really nice pearl to it and it shines in the sun. The lines came out fairly clean. There's just a little bit of overspray on the tire here that I'm going to sand off. And these should be ready to go back on the car. Now if you're wondering why I did the black first and then the silver, it's because the black paint dries within 10 minutes so I can mask that off and spray the silver which dries in about an hour. Now the paint in clear coat will take about 7 days to dry so you're going to want to make sure you, that you don't send it out for balancing or hit or scratch something else because it's very easy to scratch right now. This is what the wheel looks like before it's repainted and here's what it looks like after the paint job is done. Overall I think the paint job came out pretty good especially with the contrasting brakes. It almost makes it look like it's got a set of custom wheels on it.